Hi everyone, good afternoon. I hope you're all doing well. I thought I would make a video and talk to you a little bit about my son, Nicky. Tomorrow is his 21st birthday. And uh, if you would have told me 21 years ago that we would be spending it quarantined together in our apartment, I probably would have never believed you. Um, you know, but then again, we have survived so much together that I really sort of have been prepared for this moment, you know. Um, I promised Nikki when he was born, and he was born at two pounds, seven ounces, and um, prematurely at 31 weeks, I promised him that we would survive that together, and we did. And we survived everything else that we've been through in his life and mine over the past 21 years, so we'll survive this as well. It made us pretty pretty tough together. We're a pretty tough team, you know, and I hope that that inspires hope in all of you, you know, and helps you to draw from experiences that you've had in your life to learn from that resilience that you have shown your children in the past and now in these moments. Um, this is surreal to me right now, you know, Nikki and I survived that time together, his childbirth and his five and a half weeks in the hospital um, as mother and son together. And that bond, that bond got us through everything that he went through. And that bond is getting us through this now. We're in here together. I won't have it any other way. I'm grateful to God um, to be with my child and to be able to protect him and take care of him. Um, I love him more than anything on this earth, as I'm sure you love your babies. So I would like to share a letter with you from my book, Dear Nikki Love Mommy. I have never read this letter out loud. Um, I have shared it with my mom, um, but I haven't read it out loud to anyone. I wrote this letter to Nikki when he was in the NICU when he was born, and um, it means a lot to me. And it means a lot to me to read now and reflect upon it with joy and to be able to share it with you. Um, I appreciate your support and I appreciate being able to share my son with the world and the things that he teaches and inspires in people. I hope that it helps you to gain a different perspective on life at times and the things that we go through. So I'd like to read this to you, and I appreciate you taking the time out to listen to it. Dear Nicholas, where do I begin? I've wanted you my whole life. We've been through so much together already, and it's only just begun. We've had a rough start, but I promise I'll do all I can to make you happy. The love and appreciation that I have for you cannot be explained. I thank God for you every day, my precious, beautiful son. Please don't grow up too fast. I want to enjoy every second with you. I've loved you and cherished you the second I found out that I was pregnant. And now here you are. When I hold you in my arms, I feel so loved and complete. I can't believe you are really mine. God's angel. You're a very special baby. You made it here for a reason, and I just know no matter what you do, you will be special and wonderful. God spared us, and I want us to make all the best we can out of our life together. Let's be happy no matter what. We have each other always. I'll always be here for you. You can always trust and count on me. You are all of life to me, Nicholas, and you always will be. Being a mom isn't easy, I'm finding out, but I'll do the best I know how and try not to let you down. Love always, Mommy. So I feel exactly the same 21 years later, and uh, I know you feel the same about your babies. So please be safe. Take care of one another and um, stay positive. We're going to get through this and we're coming out on top. Okay? Stay blessed. Thank you for celebrating my baby's birthday with me.